Hello, Defenders. Have you ever wanted to customize your in-game field of view to a further or closer distance? Today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you how to change your FOV to look something like this. Or this. Or this. Okay, maybe not that one. First of all, shout out to Artie for telling me about this six or so months prior. He's the real MVP. Take a look at the description of this video, and you'll see all the copy and paste information you'll be using to set this up. To get started, open up your file explorer on your computer. Copy and paste the file path listed in the description into the file path search bar section. This should automatically open up the file we'll be editing today. If for any chance it does not, you'll have to search for this file manually under the config folder within your Dungeon Defenders 2 Documents folder. Once you've opened the correct file, scroll all the way to the bottom where you see Engine.Player Input. Right above this is where you'll copy and paste the keybind example that is listed within the description. You can change the keybinds to whatever you'd like them to be. Make sure if you want to use Alt, Control, or Shift in your keybind, then these should read True. If not, it should be False. Once you've set your keybind, it's time to change your FOV to your liking. Just change the number within the parentheses to the degree of your field of view. Anything above 150 will look super scuffed and is recommended against. 90 is closest to default. After you've successfully updated your keybinds and your FOV choices, go to File and select Save. Restart your game and load into a town or tavern. Try out those brand new keybinds. Hope this makes your playing experience much more enjoyable. It's noteworthy to state that loading into a new map or a new instance will reset the FOV. You'll have to re-hit your keybind to get your FOV back to where you want it. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this, but it is what it is. Also, do not try to go through these files in hopes to find some weird and crazy way to bug abuse or hack the game. You cannot do that through these files as they're locally stored. When the game updates, you'll have to go back and re-enter these keybinds and it'll reset it. Well, that was fun. Enjoy your new look around the wonderful world of Etheria. Batman needs rest now, so good day and good night.